Good morning, YouTube. I'm still at Germantown Petro Park. I just made a video down by Twin Creek. I'm on the Orange Trail still. I'm just getting ready to join up with the Green Trail here soon. It's just a beautiful early December morning, I guess late fall. I guess almost early winter. As I mentioned before, this is a really great time of year to be out hiking in the woods. You get really good, spectacular views of the entire trails without the leaf and tree cover and plants and plant life. Yeah, here are the orange trails getting ready to to join up with the green trail. This is the first trail intersection that you see for quite some time here. Trail intersection number four. Here's where the green trail branches off separately. I seen a deer over by Sunfish Pond early on in my hike along the pink trail, but haven't really seen much else besides just a few birds flying around and and singing. Yeah, I'm not far from the the nature center, so all I was thinking about going to an evening hike here tonight, but it might be too long of a wait. I don't know. I'm just out here just enjoying the day at this wonderful park. <laughs> Just absolutely beautiful out here. Yeah, we're getting ready to... Here in a couple videos, we're getting ready to go down the old orange-yellow floodplain trail. It's a couple videos from now. I still got one other after this to do where... Uh, 
where you where I showed I showed them in other videos before, but the floodplain trees of these of this park and this tree are just magnificent, unlike anything you'll find anywhere else in the Miami Valley when it comes to trees. And it's called the Old Forest too, which is the oldest section of forest in Montgomery County. Maybe one of the oldest in Southwest Ohio. As I mentioned in a couple other videos, look for areas like this for deer and animal bedding areas where the cover's thick. These ugly power lines, that's... The ranger station is on the other side of those power lines. It's it'd be a beautiful view. If it's a beautiful view, I just wish these ugly power lines were not in the way, but good view nonetheless. But it kind of gives you a chance to see where you're parallel with to what you are parallel with in the park and so on and so forth. And I'm going to see how far I can milk my cell phone before I have to switch over to the regular camera because I got my battery pack with me as I've mentioned so that's not a problem today I like the uh, cell phone camera so if I see an animal or something while I'm shooting a video I could still snap a picture of it at the same time have not seen any other hikers here today, but I'll, I'll know if there's anybody else here when I get over by the Nature Center. Nature Center is not open today, but a lot of people tend to park there that come here. There was nobody over by the picnic areas, over by the pink trail nobody in the parking lot south of the dam And I believe I'm getting ready to turn the corner to go up that hill.
another beautiful view of Twin Creek. At this park, you get a lot more views of Twin Creek than you do at Twin Creek Metro Park. I like both parks really well, but you see the river or the creek a lot more here than you do at Twin Creek versus only down at Twin Creek. You only really get to see it a few times along the trail. Yep, I'm getting ready to go up this hill because I know when I see that fence, it's boom right there, bingo. And I'm probably gonna end this one at the top of the hill. It's a beautiful view right here. When I was doing that hike during Holy Week a couple week, years ago, you had just spectacular views of the creek when the sun was shining down on it. It's a pretty good little, pretty good sized hill right here. Generally, if you finish your hike at the nature center, I used to call this hill the last right or the butt kicker because it lets you know as you're finishing your hike that I'm going to kick you in your butt as you're finishing the hike. And it still continues ascending for a couple of minutes. So it doesn't let you forget. This is this park's way of saying, don't lose my number. I'm probably not in the best of hiking shape. I haven't done as much hiking the last several months so my hiking legs are probably not under me the way they sometimes would have been in the past but I can make do with that it's a beautiful view and a beautiful area I'm going to get ready to end this one momentarily. See another tree trunk down, but this one could have been from lightning, but we haven't had any really lightning or a whole lot of wind, so I'm not exactly sure what the story is with this tree, but you can see it right here, the old remnants of it and at this trail junction three is a good point to end the video but it looks like they kind of left this as a log as a resting area that's it for the